Hi, this is Corey from Blind to Billionaire. I am back at Epcot at the Food and Wine Festival. I have a pancake milkshake, um, so I'm gonna try it, see what we think. It's good. It tastes like, it does kind of taste like vanilla shake. I don't know that I'm feeling a really strong pancake taste, but I like it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it's really a lot like a vanilla milkshake, but good. It's cute. It's five dollars, four ounces, so a nice little treat. Keep you cooled off in the hot, hot weather. Is it cold? This is the Bloody Mary Seafood Cocktail Salad. It's cold. It is from inside the festival building, and it was six dollars. And it was six dollars. So we'll see what we think. I, I thought this was something else. So I'm gonna take a bite. I thought it was a different pasta seafood of oh. shrimp. It smells like. Oh, I just took my first bite of shrimp. It has a nice kick. It tastes really fresh. I would say, uh, kind of tastes like a Bloody Mary. It has a peppery flavor. I think if you like Bloody Marys, you would really like this. I'm gonna try mussel, even though I don't even think I like it. Mussels. The vinaigrette is really good. Little kick, peppery, delicious. This is Karen. She likes the Bloody Mary and she's been excited about this. We'll see what she thinks. Mm. If you like a Bloody Mary, you'll love this. It does have a nice kick to it. It's a, not too spicy, but it's a good flavor of kick. There's like lettuce at the bottom that looks, that's got really nice flavor in it. Red and green peppers, I believe. Yep, I said red and green peppers. There's mussels, scallops. The shrimp. dressing is like Bloody Mary mixed, mixed with a vinaigrette, with the vinegar, and it's so good. I could just drink it. Good, so if you're a Bloody Mary lover, definitely give this a try. If you are somebody who really doesn't care for Bloody Marys, probably skip it. Mm -hmm. I have right here the baked shrimp scampi with a sourdough baguette from the Coastal Eats. It was $5.75. I'll move this a little closer. So here we have the seared scallops with truffled celery root puree, Brussels sprouts, and wild mushrooms. I believe this was $5.50 from, the, from wine the Wine and Dine studio. studio. Over here we have the butternut squash ravioli with brown butter vinaigrette, parmesan cheese, and pumpkin seeds. And this was $6 from the same stand. I'm trying the baked shrimp scampi. One thing I will mention is that the baguette is not toasted, which is kind of a bummer. Mm. That is a really strong garlic flavor. I got a nice big piece of shrimp, which I appreciate. Um, kind of salty in a good way. But I do think that the baguette not being toasted makes it taste a lot just like regular bread, which isn't, could be done better. Like I'd like something crispier to eat, to eat the shrimp scampi on, being it's supposed to be kind of a dip. But otherwise I think it's really good, good flavor. Now I'm going to try the butternut squash ravioli, which I've been really looking forward to. I have to bring the plate a little closer. It has a really nice flavor. Whatever this glaze is, or, oh, brown butter, that is really good. The cheese on top is plentiful and really good. I feel like the pasta has a really nice flavor, nice a nice texture. We didn't feel that it was real hot when we got it in terms of the temperature of the food, um, but it still tastes really good, and the brown butter sauce is really a win. Oh, and the pumpkin seeds, which I don't, actually know that I specifically, 
Oh, here, I'm gonna take another bite with pumpkin seed. Ooh, a nice crunch, a nice flavor. It's a good, it's a good touch. I would say I would for sure get the, um, I would for sure get the butternut squash ravioli again. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, I think you got maybe three, I think you got three ravioli. Oh, two raviolis, okay. So you get two raviolis. This is a little expensive for what you're getting, but it's good. Next, I'm going to try the seared, um, the seared scallops with root vegetables as described previously. So I'm gonna try first some, a br we think it's Brussels sprout. Mm. You know, I don't know for sure that was Brussels sprout. Oh, it was mushroom. Okay. You know what? It was good. I think because I thought I was eating a Brussels sprout and it was a mushroom, I thought there's something really, really wrong with the, um, the texture. But it was very good. Um, the, maybe the mushroom wasn't my very favorite part, but it, the flavor is very good. I'm going to take a little bit of the sauce. Yum. It's a, it's a root vegetable puree, and I would say it's really good. It's a really, really nice flavor. I'm gonna take one more bite. That's a really nice flavor. I can really taste the vegetables, like celery I think I can taste. And I'll try the scallop in a second here. Okay, and now I'm gonna try the scallop. Ooh, it looks big on this um, video. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really good scallop. In my opinion, it's cooked really well. Um, really good flavor. Yeah, I would definitely get this again. The scallop was excellent. That every component of that dish was fantastic. And I think it was a probably fairly good for the price in that it. You know, there's some scallops in there, kind of a lot going on. That was excellent. Okay, we are in Belgium. We are getting a. Belgium waffle with a warm chocolate ganache with whipped cream. Enjoy. And it is $4. Here is the process. They're made in these little things. And he is getting them ready here. Okay, I am going to eat my part of the Belgium waffle. It should be delicious. It just came out of the machine. And I mean, also, like, it's a waffle. Oh my. Here's what's interesting, is it's not very sweet. It's just fluffy and light. But I would say sweet is not the word I would use to describe it. It's crispy. It's really good. It doesn't really have the same flavor as a normal waffle, in my opinion. And I think it's because of that lack of like sweetness. And obviously, I know that there's like chocolate and stuff on it, but that the waffle itself is not real sweet. I think it's delicious. We were debating on getting it. I'm glad we went with it. Thank you everyone for watching. If you would like to subscribe or put comments on the bottom, I will answer them. Uh, if you have any questions, if you like the video, go ahead and like it. But otherwise, thank you for watching and have a great day.